Hello and welcome to interactive problem number four. So this is another individual deal. If you found this on view on, on YouTube, uh, just click the link in description and you can come on my website and actually play the deal uh, before you watch my solution. Uh, and so it's free to be a member of WalperBridge.com, but you need a membership to do it. And if you're watching this on the site, just hit the play all the whole hands button on the side. So this auction was, again, this happened against me in a speedball, kind of like the last problem. Uh, but this time my opponent actually got it right, and I thought it was well played, and I thought it, this would be a great problem for my students to, uh, to practice. So Ten of Spades lead, you're in four hearts. Go ahead and play the hand and watch the video. So on the Ten of Spades lead, uh, this is the kind of hand where I, I'm really looking at counting my losers. Um, where and I'm I'm doing it in from the perspective of the long trump hand. I'm I try from both, but this one usually almost always the long trump hand is the one that you're going to set up. And when we count our losers, uh, we can see that we have no heart losers. We have we we have two spade losers, and this is the thing that you really have to register when you're looking at this hand. Is we have two spade losers. Like the king's going to play this first trick. I'll even play this first trick out just to show you. Uh, and um, we still have the seven and the jack of spades that are losers. And if we don't think of them like losers, we're going to um, potentially run into a pro like ha hit a problem because if we draw trumps too quickly, we need to rough both of our spades and dummy. Uh, and so if we draw trumps too quickly, we might not be able to. Like you can imagine, we have nine trumps. So if the opponent's are, trumps are 3-1, then we might have to draw three rounds of trumps. And if we do that too quickly, we'll only have one left to rough the seven of spades and not be able to rough the jack of spades. So we have to focus on the fact that we have two spade losers. Then there's the diamond suit. We obviously have no club losers because we have the ace ops at our singleton. The diamond, we kind of have three losers, uh, but we can see very. Uh, you can see that you can use the ace of spades to throw away one of the diamonds in dummy. So really, we're only as long as we or we might be able to throw a, throw one diamond loser away on the ace and take a diamond finesse and maybe if we if we can manage it all we can trump both of our spade losers and our third diamond in dummy so that's going to be the goal of this hand is to before we dr don't like definitely not touch trumps but instead just focus on roughing the seven of spades, roughing the jack of spades, and roughing the seven of diamonds in the board. That means we're going to need to rough three things in the, in the four card trump suit. So we, if we even draw one round of trumps, then what's going to happen is when the opponents get in with the ace of diamonds, they're going to play a second round of trumps, and that's going to prevent us from being able to rough the three things that we need to rough on this hand. So first things first is if we're going to rough diamonds in dummy, we need to start finessing the diamonds. And so what we do right now is we just lead a diamond up towards our hand. So we lead the four diamonds, and it goes five. And now we have a guess. We have a king-jack guess. We're going to either play the jack or we're going to play the king. And the jack will work when west, west has the ace and east has the queen. The king will work when the ace is with east. So we, we don't really know. This is kind of a complete guess, but I'll tell you what I think of in these king-jack spots. Is We know that west's opening lead was blind. They were leading into a one-heart, three-hearts, four-hearts auction, and they chose to lead a spade. Now, often, people are willing to lead from queens, but they will never touch a suit on opening lead if they have just the ace because we're taught not to lead unsupported aces and we're taught not to underlead aces against suit contracts. So anytime the opening leader doesn't lead a suit, it's more likely that they have the ace. So I have a rule, even though it's completely random, I have a rule, and this rule saves me a lot of heartache. I don't worry about whether I get this guess right or wrong. I always play the opening leader for the ace. That's the, what, what I do, and that's a common expert practice. So uh, when you're playing in a high-level event, that's what my opponents will do. So even if it's wrong, at least that's what everybody else is doing. Uh, in the match point field, you're going to have a completely random experience. Like some people won't even recognize that the jack might be worthwhile. So, but I would play a diamond to the jack, and that would lose to the ace. And now, from a defensive perspective, 
you have to think to yourself, why is Declare not playing Trumps? I think we should play Trumps. That's kind of I'm always trying to do the opposite of what Declare is doing. So if I was the defender here, I would be playing a Trump back, and a Trump back is not good enough to stop us here because we're gonna win the ace and we're gonna play ace of spades throwing a diamond and a spade and rough it and then a diamond to the king and a diamond and rough it and then we're gonna play the ace of clubs and a club and we're going to play a spade and rough it. And then you can see that on that there's nothing that we could do. Uh, we have three top trump tricks. So let me jump back and just show you this one more time with all the cards revealed. Ten of spades, king. We recognize that we need to trump three things in dummy so we don't touch trumps. We lead a diamond and we play the opening leader for the ace. So we th stick in the jack. And if, if the only thing you got wrong on this hand was um, the diamond playing the king versus the jack, it's not a big deal. Uh, but if you drew trumps right away, it is a big deal. You need to recognize that this is a hand where we need to delay drawing trumps because we need to rough losers. So they win the ace. They play back a trump. And we win it and play ace of spades, throwing that diamond. Spade and rough it. Diamond of the king. Diamond and rough it. Ace of clubs. You notice I'm I'm not cross roughing. I'm only roughing in the short in the one hand. That's a common. That's a good thing to just get get uh, used to doing. Is is we don't tend to want to take unnecessary roughs in the long long hand as a general rule. Uh, this hand it wouldn't have hurt you to be crossing back with clubs, but uh, yeah. So that's the hand. I hope you enjoyed it, and speak to you soon. Please share these hands with other people.